Molly, would you rather eat poop or drink pee? Ew, that's a gross question. What? That's not gross, but you have to answer. Which one, Lily? I'm not picking any. That's nasty. Oh, my. Oh, that's not how the game works. All right, fine. Your turn. Give me one. Okay, Oh, Would you rather build a zoo or a bank? Um, well, why would I build a bank? I don't care about money, but Roxy, doesn't a zoo sound awesome? Yeah, we can build so many different mobs. <gasps> oh, my. Yo, and we can even put a dog just like us and even cats for Lily. Uh, I'm going to build a zoo. What about you, Lily? Obviously, a bank. What? A bank? Why would you pick a bank? Because money is the coolest. Lily, what? Money is not better than animals. Well, my bank is going to be way better than any zoo that you can ever do. Wait, what? Oh, my God. Are you serious? Roxy, Lily just picked money over animals. Animals are so much better. I know, right? And you know what? Let's prove it to Lily. Let's make a way better zoo because she's already started to build a bank. Oh, my gosh. Do you think we could really do it? Yeah, our zoo is going to be the Oh, yeah, let's do it. I believe in us. So let's go over here. And um, Roxy, we have a big problem. I've never made a zoo before. Have you? No, I haven't either. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. All right, all right. Let's think. Um, we need to make the entrance to the zoo, right? Yeah, that's what we have to do first. So let's grab some white concrete. And we can make the zoo logo out of some orange concrete. And to make this quicker, let's grab a magical wand. So first, let's make the outlining. How are we going to do that? First, let's set the first position all the way over there and the second position all the way here and then set some white concrete boom perfect now on the inside let's set it all with air just like that and compound the perimeter is now complete now let's make the entrance and it's gonna be right over here so let's break this area like that then let's make a super duper ginormous gate like this and oh my god this is gonna look awesome now we need to make a driveway up how do we do this we have to build a road Oh, my. Yo, Roxy, you are literally a genius. This is why I love building with you. We're going to use some black wool to build a road, and we can use the yellow wool to make the arrow. So first, let's make the floor. So let's place some black concrete just like this and make it go down over here like a little stairway so the cars can easily drive up. And you do the same on your side. And oh, gosh, we have to fix this area because um it does not look right. So let's set the first position here and then the second one over here. And then Let's set a bunch of grass blocks and boom. That is so much better. And wait a minute. Oh my, yo, Lily's almost done with the floor for bank. Your guys' zoo sucks. Oh my, yo, Lily, you are so mean. It doesn't suck. We just started. Stop being rude. And your bank doesn't even look good at all. You only have the floor. Da -na 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 -na. Be quiet, you pee pee head. What? I do not have a baby head. My head is completely normal. Lily, me and Roxy are gonna crush you. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. Oh my. Yo, ah, Roxy, she is being so rude right now, right? Yeah, money doesn't matter against so much animals. Exactly, Roxy, you are so intelligent and smart, and you're also a dog, and I'm a dog, so we got along, so we're gonna make the ultimate zoo, and Lily's gonna be super jealous, and she's like, wait a minute, oh, wow, you guys are awesome, and I smell like poop. I heard that. Oh, gosh, she heard that. Um, nothing, nothing, nothing. But the road is looking really good. Now let's build over here. And we could just use our magical wand for this. And then set some black wool. Just like that. And perfect. Now let's use our yellow wool to make an arrow to know where to go. So let's do it just like that. Then put another one over here so we know where to go. Perfect. Then put the last one here. And kapow. Oh, my. Yo, this is awesome. But we need cars. Oh, yeah, great point. What car are we going to use? Um, let's use, how about a tractor? That sounds really cool. And a go-kart. Oh, my, oh, those are awesome vehicles. So let's place the first one, which is a tractor right here. And oh, my, yo, this looks awesome. Check me out. I'm literally on a tractor. Perfect. And then for the next one, we're going to use the go-kart. So let's put it just like that. And oh, my, yo, which one do you want, Roxy? I want this one. All right. And I'm going to take the tractor. So now when we walk, we can ride up into the zoo. Perfect. But I'm um, wait a minute. The zoo logo isn't there still. We have to 
So now let's go to this side and build out and up just like this. Perfect. Then let's go over here, build to the side, and then build out over here. And then use our magical wand to fill it all in. And boom. Perfect. Now it's all filled in so we can make the signs. So we're gonna make the word zoo out of some orange concrete, but we have a problem, Roxy. Wait, what's our problem? I do not know how to spell zoo. Do you know how to spell zoo? Of course I do. Oh, all right. How do we spell it? First, Z. Z? Okay, so let's make a Z just like this. Kaboom. Perfect. And oh my, oh, that looks awesome. Then what's the next letter? It's O. Oh, Roxy, are you serious? Z? Oh, I've never seen a word that has Z O in it. Are you sure that's how you spell zoo? Yeah, it's Z O O. Uh, Roxy, now you're literally messing with me. A word with two O's? Yeah. Oh, my, yo. I don't know about this, but we'll try it, and we're going to see if it looks good. So let's put an O over here. Perfect. And let's put another O like this. And oh, gosh, it's going off the sign. We have to make the sign bigger. So let's grab some white concrete and place it all behind it. And <gasps> wait a minute. That actually does kind of look right. So now we have our outside complete. The zoo is looking awesome. But well, what's going to be our first thing? Exhibit. Hmm, that's a really good question. What animal or mob should we use? How about we have some creepers? Creepers? Um, go, Roxy, are you sure we want to start off with creepers? Yes, that would be awesome. All right, so let me just grab some creepers. And since we have to make their enclosure, we need some creeper heads. Then wait, <gasps> Roxy, what if we use a gulp mutant creeper? Those are so powerful. All right, let's use it. And we'll get some stuffed creepers as decoration. Your creeper exhibit is gonna suck. Wait, what, Lily? Oh my, yo, you're so rude. It is not gonna suck, right, Roxy? We're gonna make it awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be so dangerous. You hear that, Lily? It's gonna be so cool. Cool. Nah, 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 nah. No, it's gonna be poop. How dare you? Oh, my young Lily is being so rude. She leaves us no choice. We have to make this awesome, right? Yeah, but how are we gonna do it? Well, first, we're gonna need to get some green blocks to make the exhibit. And um, what block should we use? How about emeralds? Oh, my yo, emeralds is a genius idea. Yes, let's use emeralds. And how about some lime green wool and some lime green stained glass? That's perfect. I know, right? And we're gonna make the first exhibit right over here. So let's get started with the build. So let's make the outlining out of emeralds just like this. And to make this even quicker, we're gonna set the first position up over here, then fly all the way here, and then set the second position. Now let's set it all with some emerald blocks just like that, and boom, that is perfect. But now we have to fill it all with air, so we have room for all the creepers. So let's mine inside over here. Set the second position then make it air and kapow. We just made so much room, right? Yeah, this is awesome. But um, wait a minute. We have a problem. We don't want it to be all made out of emeralds. We want it to be so we could see inside. So let's change all of these blocks into some lime stained glass. And oh my, oh, that looks so much better. So let's set it just like that. Perfect. And let's set the last area over here all out of some lime stained glass. And even for this wall over here. Let's do the same. And this is a little bit more tricky. We don't want to get in the way of the zoo sign, but that should be good. Then let's do the same over here like this. Uh, kaboom. Perfect. And whoa, this is super duper awesome, right? Yeah, this is perfect. But um, I'm going to be honest. Uh, lime stained glass is really ugly. It's so nasty to look through. What if we replaced it with some normal glass? Yeah, that's a great idea. So let's type slash replace near all the blocks that are made out of some lime stained glass with some normal glass just like that and boom they're all replaced and wow that is so much better now we can see the creepers so much easier yeah this is perfect so now we have to make some design on the outside so let's add some stuffed creepers on all of the corners just like this and oh my oh that looks super duper adorable perfect and now we have to add the actual creepers and whom roxy i have a good idea wait what's your idea what if we make our exhibits walk through exhibits so we have to walk through them uh. that would be so cool 
All right, let's do it. So if we're gonna make it like that, we don't want the mobs to already be here. We want them to spawn in once we come in, right? Yeah, but how are we gonna do that? Hmm, good question. So we can make the entrance to the creeper area just like that. And then we can grab a door and hmm, what's a good door? How about a keypad door so not just anyone can get in? Then we can put it right over here and surround it with glass like this. Perfect. Then we have to pick a passcode. And we're gonna make it something Lily can never a guess. One, two, three, four. Awesome. So now when we type it in, we could enter and kaboom, we're in and oh my, oh, this is sick. But where are the mobs going to spawn in from? Hmm, we can make it all on this wall over here. So we're going to spawn them in with some dispensers just like this and we're going to spawn in one, two, three, four normal creepers and then we could spawn in one mutant creeper above them. Won't that be awesome? Yeah, mutant creepers are stronger than normal creepers. Exactly. So first, let's put some creeper eggs in all the dispensers on the bottom just like that. Kaboom. Perfect. Then we're going to put some mutant ones on the top ones. But now we have to activate them. How are we going to do that? Super duper simple. All we need is some redstone repeaters, then some redstone, and then, of course, a lever. So now let's do the redstone. How do we connect it? Come follow me. I'll show you. So first, we have to go around the back. Then we have to add some redstone on the back of the dispensers just like that then hook up all the redstone together perfect so now if we activate it, all the creepers spawn in and now we have to do this one over here how are we gonna do the top one um this seems a little bit more difficult but i think i know how all we have to do is place a block over here with a redstone in it then we have to break into the wall and then just connect the redstone to all the rest of it so now when we power it let's do our first test all right let's see if it works so when we flick the lever, yes, they all spawn in. And oh my, yo, this is going to be a crazy first obstacle, right? Yeah, this is so hard to beat. I know, right? They're super duper powerful. So let's get rid of them for now by making it peaceful. Then let's make it easy so they could spawn back in. And um, wait, we have a problem. How are we going to activate this from the inside? Bring the redstone into the inside. Oh yeah, that is super smart. And we're going to do it super duper hidden. So we're going to place the redstone from underneath like a little tunnel just like this. Kaboom. Perfect. All the way until it reaches here. And yes, this is a perfect spot. Then we're gonna grab an emerald block and put it back right over here with some redstone underneath. Then connect the redstone all the way to over here. Kaboom. Perfect. Now let's fly back over and go inside. And wait, where's the redstone? Okay, it's right over here. Now let's put a lever on top and when we flick it, uh, wait a minute. Only one of the creepers spawn in huh why and oh i see why it's because the redstone reach does not reach all the way it dies hum how do we extend it add a repeater oh yeah because if we add a repeater it refreshes the redstone and activates all the dispensers and now they're all in wait wait let me retry that so let's make it into peaceful then let's make it into easy now when we hit this lever kaboom all of them spawn in and lily's gonna be in for a really big treat right yeah this guy huge. But, um, wait a minute, Roxy. I did not think about this at all. Um, how is Lily gonna fight all of these guys off if she doesn't have any armor at all? Maybe we should give her some. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. So, let's grab a chest and, um, what armor should we give her? What's something that she would like? Give her some pink leather armor. Huh, pink does sound like a good idea, but I only have normal leather. How can we make this into pink? Grab pink dye. Oh, yeah, if we use some pink dye, we could transform it into some pink leather. So let's grab a crafting table, put it down over here next to the chest and combine it. And oh my oh, this works so well. Let's make them all into pink armor. And yes, that is awesome. Now let's put them all in the chest so she has a full set of some pink armor. Then let's grab her a weapon. And what sword should we give her? Um, how about diamond sword? All right, we'll get her a diamond sword and let's put it inside. But um, do we really think leather armor is enough to protect her? Uh, maybe not. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, you're totally right. So what if we enchant it? Let's grab an enchanting table and put it right over here. Now let's grab all the armor and let's enchant it. And um, let's see, what did we get from this? Ooh, protection one. That's good. Then this one, protection two. Awesome. And then we don't want projectile. That sucks. So let's enchant the helmet first. And it's still giving us dookie dookie enchants. Oh, gosh. Wait, let me see what happens if we enchant the sword to give us something good. And ooh, sharpness. Perfect. And now the helmet. And oh, yes, protection. And then finally, even more protection. Yes, Lily's gonna love this. It's a full set of shiny pink enchanted armor and a sharpness one diamond sword. Yeah, this is perfect. And Roxy, do you know what this means? Our creeper enclosure is now complete. So let's seal it off from the front over here. And then let's make the entrance to the next area. And this is going to be even cooler. What is this gonna be? Well, we already did creepers. And huh, what's something else that's cool? How about... Enderman. Oh my, yo, Endermen are awesome. And guess what? There's even a mutant Enderman we could use. Yes, let's do it. All right, let's do it. But uh, wait, how are we going to design its enclosure? What color should we use? Um, Purple, duh. All right, all right. Let's grab some purple wool and we're going to make the entire enclosure out of it. So let's grab the magic wand again and let's make the floor over here all made out of purple wool just like this. Perfect. That looks awesome. Then let's do the same design with the glass so we can see through it. So let's grab some glass over here, build up just like this. Then let's fill all of this up with glass. Kaboom. Perfect. That looks super awesome. Now we have to hollow it out. So let's hit two positions like this over here and then set it all with air. Kapow. Perfect. And now it's time for the top. And how about we use some black wool instead of purple? Oh, yeah, because the endermen are black too. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So let's place two blocks like that. And oh my, yo, this is going to come out sick. And I just came up with a really good idea. Wait, what's your really, really good idea? Instead of just leaving it black like normal, we're going to make it look awesome. Wait, how are we going to make this look awesome? You'll see in a second. First, let me complete all this black wool like that and watch this. So, you know how Endermen have eyes, right? Um, I do. They look super duper awesome. Check that out. And we're going to make him some eyes on the black part. So, first, we're going to need some too. Purple wool like this. Perfect. Kaboom. Then, we're going to need to grab some white ones and put it on the side of it and check this out. Um, does this look like an Enderman eyes and oh, it does it looks like it's staring at us this is awesome i know right now let's make a connection from the creeper exit to the enderman exit right over here by making a little tunnel just like this kaboom perfect now we can go inside what's gonna be inside here here is gonna be some enderman of course and of course a mutant enderman have you ever seen one of these um think so. Oh my, yo, you're gonna love it. So, um, how many should we put? Because it's gonna be a lot harder for Lily. How about two Endermen and one mutant Enderman? Oh my, yo, that is a genius idea. And wait, instead of using dispensers, I have a smarter way to spawn them in. Wait, what's more smarter than dispensers? Well, it's not in the creative menu. We have to type a command to get it. And we're gonna put it right over here underneath so we can hit it with a lever. Now, we need to see where we're gonna spawn in the Enderman. So, let's grab the coordinates of over here by typing out this command. Perfect. And now let's go back inside and type in slash summon enderman at these coordinates. So now it should spawn him in. So let's test it out by grabbing a lever and let's see if this actually works. I've never tried this before. Do it! Alright, and kaboom! And wow, he spawned in all the way over there and it's wireless. This is awesome, right? Yeah, but I said two endermen. Oh yeah, you did. And to do that is super easy. All we have to do is add a second command block over here and then grab the coordinates of over here like this by typing out the fill command. Now let's copy it and paste it into the command block and then type in the word summon and then enderman. Perfect. Now let's grab a redstone repeater, put it right over here and let's test it out to see if it works. So let's break these blocks and when we flick the lever, wait, what? It didn't work. Why? You have to move the command block. Oh, yeah. So let me copy and paste this command and then let's move it to over here just like this. Perfect. And then now we have to put a redstone here. So when we put the redstone here, it's going to activate and boom, spawn them both in. Oh, my. Oh, this is perfect. It spawns in sets of two endermen. What about the 
mutant one, though. Um, this one's going to be a lot harder. Oh, gosh. How are we going to do this? I don't know the name for a mutant Enderman. Why don't you just try mutant Enderman? Oh, wait. That's actually really smart. So first, let's get the command for over here. So let's type it out just like that and copy it. Then let's go down to the command block oh, and set it right next to it over here. And then let's type out slash summon. And then we're going to make it a mutant. And it would be beast. And then it would be mutant enderman. And I think this is going to work. Oh, gosh. Let's try it. So let's turn off the lever. Then grab a redstone repeater and put it right over here. And now let's test it out. So let's cover it all up just like this. And when we flick the lever, oh, my, yo, they all spawn in. And, um, Roxy, this is super duper scary. Look at how big he is. Uh, he is ginormous. I know, right? He looks huge compared to these guys. They look like babies. And, oh, my, yo, he's taking so many hits from your swords. And, wait, um, he just teleported out. How did he do that? He's super powerful. Oh, gosh, let's make it into peaceful. Oh, my, yo, when we become in survival, it's going to be super hard to fight him, right? Yeah, it's going to be impossible. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, uh, Roxy, we have a really big problem. That pink leather armor is not going to be enough for these mutant endermen, right? Yeah, these are huge guys. Oh, gosh, we need something better. Um, let's see, what armor can we use? Let's give her gold armor. Oh, yeah, that's a perfect upgrade. So let's grab some gold armor just like this. And what about a weapon? What should we give her now? How about a netherite sword? Oh my gosh, that sounds awesome. And this time we're going to give her specific enchants. We're not going to use an enchanting table. We're going to use an anvil with some enchantment books. What enchantments? We're going to use protection. And how about protection too? That's enough. So let's open up the anvil and then put the helmet inside with protection too. So let's get the helmet. Then let's do the chest plate. Put the book in and boom, we have protection too. Then protection Protection 2 on the pants and then protection 2 on the booties. Oh, yeah, this is awesome. They're so shiny. Now the sword. Use sharpness. All right, let's grab some sharpness. And how much sharpness? One, two, three, four, or five. How about three? Three? All right, that's a good medium. It's not too good, but it's not too bad. So let's put it inside. And oh, my, yeah. What if we rename it to Lily the Sword? Oh, yeah. Lily's gonna be so powerful. Oh, yes. So now let's break that and grab a chest and we're gonna put it right over here next to the lever and let's put it all inside. Lily's gonna love this, right? But where's the exit gonna be? It's gonna be right over here and we already did two super duper deadly dangerous mobs. How about we do something that we both love? Uh Duh! Oh, yeah, we're going to make this next exhibit a bunch of beautiful, beautiful dogs. So first we have to make it, and since it's going to be our exhibit, let's make it out of red and blue blocks. Yeah, that's a perfect block for dogs. Oh, yeah, so let's grab some red wool and light blue wool and our magic wand. And hmm, how are we going to do this? How about we make this side over here all out of red wool like this? Then we make this side over here all out of light blue wool. And wait a minute, oh gosh, I did this wrong. We have to make it up here so we could have glass underneath so let's make it like that grab our magic wand then put it over here perfect and now let's set it all with some light blue wool perfect about then let's do the same for over here and set it all with some red wool that looks awesome and then let's make it go down over here for another wall then let's make it go down this way all the way over here kaboom nice and wait 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 we have to make the bottom two layers a glass so let's set it like this cup out perfect then let's set this one over here at a glass that's awesome and also these over here nice and now this looks awesome all we need to do now is this side so let's set a wall like this all the way to the red and then use our magic wand to set it all with some light blue wool like this and then finally we need some glass so let's set it all down and boom we now have all the walls complete and this is going to be our dog enclosure won't this be awesome? Yeah, this is the coolest thing in the universe, Earth. I know. And um, how are we going to do this? How about we grab some fences and we're going to get some light blue ones and some red ones. And then
then we're gonna put some light blue ones like this then some red ones next to it like that boom perfect and then we're gonna spawn in all the dogs and the reason i put in the fences is because we need to get some bones so we can tame all the dogs and yes they're all becoming my friends oh yeah this is awesome so let's tame all of them and the fence is making them not run away perfect they're all now about to be tamed and yes it's done now we could break all the fences and they can roam freely but wait we actually need to put a gate hey, hey, hey do not go into the enderman area that's super dangerous guys wait let's grab a blue fence gate and put it over here so we could go but they can't perfect and oh my oh there's so many dogs in here right yeah this is almost a billion i know but um dogs are gonna get hungry if we just leave them here right yeah let's grab them some food oh yes perfect and since we're dogs we're just gonna get them the food we like get them some meat of course so let's get some raw beef some raw mutton some raw chicken and of course some enchanted banana apples i love these so much and um what else how about some pork chops that's awesome but um roxy how are we gonna feed them automatically i don't Huh, what if we have dispensers on the top that feed them? That would be a great idea. So let's grab some dispensers. Now let's make the ceiling just like this. And we can make it all out of glass blocks just like that. Kapow. Now let's go back underneath and we're going to set some dispensers facing down. So it's going to shoot out food. So let's place some just like this all along the top. Kapow. This is awesome. Oh my. Yo, the doggies are going to love of this and let's set it all the way until we reach the end and boom now there's a bunch now let's fill it up with some food so this dispenser is gonna have some raw pork chops then this one over here is gonna have the enchanted banana apples then here is gonna be some chicken then here is gonna be some mutton then here is gonna be some beef and roxy you do the rest and i'm gonna work on the redstone so they can all fall in all right all right on it perfect and while he does that let's go up here and now we have to make it so all this food can be shot down but uh -huh. How can we do this? I know for sure we're gonna need some redstone. And of course, a button to activate it. And maybe some redstone repeaters. Now, what we have to do is obviously put redstone on top. So let's just put them all like this. Kaboom. Perfect. And we need to connect it all. And wait, there's an easier way to do this. Let's just use our magical wand and then set this entire layer with some redstone. And kabow! It's now all set. That is super duper awesome. And let's test it out. So if we activate, it will it spawn in food and oh, it does that is perfect oh my yo there's food everywhere right yeah look at this yummy yummy food oh my yo i love it so much but wait a minute we need a way to activate it from down there huh what's the easiest way to do this use a redstone torch elevator oh my yo yes that is genius so what we have to do is go back over here just like this then put our redstone torch over here then let's make a redstone torch elevator just just like this, leading all the way up to here. Cup out, perfect. Now let's make the redstone current go this way and then into the redstone. Now let's test it out. So let's go back down and then put a button right behind this redstone torch. And now when we hit it, uh, wait, what? Nothing happens. Oh gosh, we need to see where we went wrong. Roxy, hit the button, please. Okay, cup. And wait, what? Nothing happens, huh? Hit the button again. Okay, yeah. And wait, what? It's not turning off the redstone torch, huh? Maybe because it's a glass block, so let's replace it with a normal block. Then now let's go back over here and put a redstone torch here. All right, let's test it out. And wait, it activated. And oh my, yo, yes, the food worked. Oh my gosh, it works perfectly. We have food for all the doggies. Uh, this is great. But um, wait a minute, Roxy. We have a really, really big problem. Um, you know what happens when animals eat, right? They poo! Ew! Oh my, yo, nasty, 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 Roxy. But we need a toilet for these guys, right? Yeah, let's build one right now. All right, and we're gonna build it right over here. So let's grab some fences to mark where the toilet area is gonna be. And we're gonna make these fences out of pink fences because Lily is poop. Ah! What do you just say? Ah, uh, nothing, Lily. I didn't say you were poop on my own. She heard me, but let's move these dogs. Come on, excuse me. And now, boom, this is going to be the toilet area. But how are we going to make this work? First, make a toilet. 
Oh, yeah, that is super smart. But what do we want our toilet to be made out of? Gold blocks, duh. Oh, yeah, of course, because our toilets are always super shiny. And we're going to make the toilet right over here. So let's make the bottom of it just like that. And oh, my, oh, this is going to be huge. Then let's make the sides over here. Yeah, that looks good. Then let's make it go this way. Oh, gosh, this is going to be awesome. Then let's make the back of it just like that. Kapow! And now we're gonna need a fence gate to enter the toilet, of course. So let's grab one and put it right over here so we can enter it, yes. And then we're gonna need some water, right? Yeah, let's get some. All righty, and wait a minute. Oh, gosh, I just got a funny idea. What if we get something else? What if we get some pee? Oh, that's gross, Holmes. Take that back. I'm not. I put it in, baby. Oh, my. Yo, we have pee in our toilet. Isn't this super duper silly? No, this is gross. Oh, gosh, this is so funny. And boom, our toilet is done. Uh, um, if we poop in this, the poop is gonna stay here. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Let me test it out. Let me poop out the food I just ate. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm pooping everywhere. Oh, my gosh. We made a giant mess. And yeah, you're kind of right about this. All oh, the poop stays. We need a way for it to disappear. But how? How about we add lava? Oh, yeah. We could add lava underneath it. Or we could replace all the blocks over here with lava and then make it replace it back with the pee. Yes, that's a great idea. But, um, how are we gonna replace all these blocks with some lava? Any ideas? Dispensers would be really hard to do. We need another way. How about we use command blocks? Oh, my yo, wait, that might actually work. So, let's grab our command block from before and we're gonna make the flusher for the toilet right over here. So, let's grab a lever and put it on the command block like that now we're gonna need to make all these blocks turn into lava so let's set a block over here and over here then grab the two positions with a command like that and then over here and grab the command like this and i'll copy it over and put it inside and i'll replace it with lava and now let's test it out so when we flick the flusher oh gosh it all turns into lava and oh my oh that actually works so now if there's any poop it's gonna delete it yeah this is great i'm pooping so much oh my yo but um wait a minute we have a problem how do we make it back into liquid so we can go inside add another command block oh yeah genius idea so after we poop we need a way to make it back to normal so instead of using a lever let's use a button and then put it on the command block over here now let's grab some redstone repeaters and then let's put one over here just like that with some delay and then another one with some more delay then another one with even more delay and then put a command block this way and then let's put in the exact same command but instead we're gonna replace it with some pee so now let's test it out when we hit the button yes it turns back to pee and then when we hit it again it turns into lava then it turns into pee automatically let's test it out all right so i go in i do all my business oh yeah great then i come out and then i flush it and then boom it all gets deleted and then we could leave and yes they all have a perfect toilet now this is awesome right yeah this is so cool i can't believe it this is great we have a working food dispenser and then of course a way to get rid of the food but now we need a way to get out so we're gonna make it right over here so let's grab another gate and let's put it just like that so they can't escape hey hey guys you guys are not escaping hey move oh my yo don't be crazy get out of here so now we can get out but they can't perfect uh. and i have a perfect you for the last exhibit. <gasps> what is it? Oh my god. We're gonna spot cats and put love on them. Wait, 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 wait. We're gonna like put in cats because Lily's a cat and then like put love on top of them. Are you sure that's nice? Huh? Um, I don't know. Oh gosh, this really seems mean, but it's gonna be so funny when Lily finds out and she goes crazy. Yes, that's do it. It's gonna be so much fun. So first, we have to make the last enclosure. So let's set some glass and rocks. You do that side. On it. Oh my, yo, this is the most genius idea ever. And since this is the cat side, Lily's gonna think it's good, but it's gonna be bad. So first, let's grab some pink wool and let's fill it all up. Oh my gosh, Lily's gonna be so excited. Lily, we're making you something for cats. Wait, what, really? Aw, you're gonna love it so much. We're gonna make a cat enclosure. Are you serious? Oh, uh, something like that. Holmes, why did you tee -hee? I did not tee. -hee. Oh my god, this is gonna be so funny. You just did it again. 
again. Ah, uh, no. Oh, my gosh. But anyways, we'll see you in a little bit, Lily. Now, Roxy, it's time to get all the cats. So let's get some cat spawn eggs and let's put them all inside. We're going to put a billion. Oh, my. Yo, this is perfect. Now we're going to need to put the dispensers above them so they can go crazy. And wait a minute. Oh, no, they're escaping. Hey, hey, stop. Oh, gosh, Roxy, this is bad. Uh, um, this is so Oh my, yo, guys, oh, they must have heard our plans. Cats are terrible. And boom, we now locked them up. Sorry, everyone in here. Uh, this is going to be bad for you. But let's grab our dispensers. And now we're going to put it all the way on the top. We're going to put, we don't really need much. We can just put one in the center and it's going to have lava inside. How are we going to test this out? Well, first, we're going to have to put a path over here like this with some redstone. Perfect. Now it's activated. So when we flick anything to activate it's gonna hit this and we're gonna try it with water so let's put a redstone torch right over here and yes so much water spawns in that's perfect and then when we stop it oh gosh the water doesn't get sucked out but it doesn't matter we need it for one time use and we're gonna add lava oh yeah that's great oh my yo this is gonna be insane so let's get the lava and we're gonna put it inside the dispenser perfect and oh my yo now if we hit it it's gonna destroy all the cats so don't hit it yet but we're gonna have to make a redstone torch elevator so let's put the first one over here then the second one here then the third one here and we're gonna make the fourth one like this connected to the back and oh gosh more are escaping hey stop oh my yo stop trying to escape oh my gosh these guys are so rude oh whatever you guys can stay in there but the redstone torch elevator is complete and right now it's active so if we grab a lever and now if we flick the lever yes it changes the output so right now it's off so let's put it like this perfect so it's connected so when we flick that lever it's gonna be on and lava's gonna fall in that's perfect and now the zoo is complete so let's make the exit somewhere where the cats can't find us so let's grab some ladders and then climb up over here boom and then we could jump down here and this is going to be our exit so let's put some blocks like this kaboom perfect and then get some water buckets and put them all in here so we could just jump out and come bow boom we made it out of the zoo and oh my yo this is awesome right yeah this is a best and wait a minute i just got a really good idea you know how there's three of us right and three letters in the word zoo yeah i know that what if we make the first letter of zoo my color which is blue kapow boom and then the second letter of zoo your color which is red oh i see do it and yes 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 and you know what that means for the last color we have to make it purple um are you serious wait what what do you mean are you serious purple's the right color right no it's pink oh yeah i forgot lily's color is pink silly me so let's grab some pink and then we're going to make it all out of pink and oh my yo the zoo sign is now complete and that looks awesome and our zoo itself is done but wait a minute remember the eyes of ender we made over here um yeah i remember that it's kind of being covered up so let's add it on each side so let's add two purple like this perfect then let's add the white around just like that Kaboom. Then let's go to the other side. Add the two white like this. Perfect. And then the purple in the middle. Oh my, oh, nice. And then finally, let's do this side right over here. And this looks super duper awesome. We have eyes on all four sides. So you're being watched. But now we're officially done. So let's go to Lily. Oh, Lily, are you done yet? Yeah, I'm done. And oh my, yo, wait, is this your bank? Yeah, isn't it awesome? Oh, uh, I guess. And wait a minute, what is that? Is that like an A. What the hell is this? Holmes, that's a B for bank. But what, L Lily? That is not a B. Roxy, take a look at this. This does not look like a B, right? It literally looks like two circles. That does not look like a B. Oh my, yo, Lily, you're so silly. But wait a minute, what's this over here? This is parkour. What is this for? This is so you can enter my bank. Oh, it's like a secret mission. So we have to do parkour to get up. And oh my, yo, wait, I failed. Oh gosh, wait, let me do this all in one go, just like that. And wait, Roxy's ahead of me. Oh no, he's gonna steal everything inside the bank. I gotta hurry up. Go fast, Holmes. I'm going as fast as I can. Oh, gosh. And yes, I made it. And whoa, what the yo is this? This is called water trident parkour. Oh, I get it. And Roxy is cheating. Oh, my. Oh, Roxy, get back over here. Hey, come back here. All right, fine. I'm coming. 
me. Oh my, yo, you're a cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. And oh, I get it. We have to use these tridents to move. So I hold it and then, whoa, I go flying and land in here. Then I do it again. And yes, and wait, I have a really good idea. I'm going to use the trident to skip the parkour. And oh my, yo, I made it inside. Ha, Roxy, let's go. And oh my gosh, there's so much enchanted diamond armor in here. This is super duper awesome. And enchanted banana apple. So let me put it all on myself, baby. Oh, you have to be in survival. Wait, what? Okay, let me make myself in survival. And let me do the same for Roxy. And now what? Uh, and now you have to step on this pressure plate. All right, let me step on it. And oh my God. Oh my God, let me eat my enchanted banana apple. And he's spawning in his minions, Lily. This is not smart at all. Why would you put this in the bank? He's going to blow everything up. Uh. Oh, that's so you don't get past the level. Oh my gosh, he is so powerful. Roxy, help me out. I'm dying. Oh my, yo, he's about to blow. Run, run, run. Oh my, yo. And woof, I lived. Good thing we made it out. And there's no more mobs, right? Yes, sir. Wait, what? Is that a mutant skeleton? Hey, leave my friend alone. And oh my, yo, Roxy is using his special moves on us. Careful, careful. Hey, hey, leave me alone. Die, die. Yes, we did it, Roxy. We are the dream team. Dogs are the best. Dogs are the best. Who, 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 who? Wait, what, Roxy, why are you hitting me? You're a skeleton. Wait, well, I'm not a skeleton. Hey, 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 wait, wait, We're dogs, we're dogs. Show, 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 show. Okay, now let's continue robbing the bank. What else is in here, Lily? Oh, um, you went through all the levels at once. Wait, what? Are you serious? And, um, where is the bank vault? I'm trying to rob this place. There's a ghost block. Wait, what? A ghost block? Oh, so it's like a secret room. Where's the ghost block? We have to find it. Come on. Where is it, Roxy? Do you see it anywhere? Uh, I don't know. I don't see it at all. Lily, can we get a hint? Where is it? I can't find it anywhere. Uh, it's somewhere outside. Outside? Huh? Let me check. And whoa. Oh my gosh, Roxy. I found all the gold. Oh, my God, we're rich. Wait, what? Roxy, no, no, don't kill me. I have one. Really, dude? Uh, this is all mine. Oh, my yo, not funny. Oh, gosh, let me TP back to you. And, yes, we completed your bank. Thank you, Lily. Did you guys like it? Um, I don't know. Because the question was, would you rather make a bank or a zoo? So, let's look at our zoo, and then we'll decide which one, okay? All right, let's go. Okay, you're going to love this. So, let me go back into creative, and let's fly up out of here. And, oh, my God, this place is, oh, gosh, destroyed. But welcome to our zoo. And wait, wait, wait. We need to make another vehicle. And let me grab one for you, Lily. What's something you would like? How about a mini bike? So, let's put it next to the tractor. And, oh, my, oh, that is perfect. So, Lily, hop in the mini bike. I'm in the tractor. And let's go to our zoo. And, oh, my, yo, this is super awesome. Make sure to park right over here and cup out. And as you can see, the first thing we have is the word zoo in all of our colors. Blue, red, and pink. Do you like it? Whoa, this is awesome! I know. And then to enter the zoo, we have to go over here and type in the secret code. Try and guess it. Let me guess. One, two, three, four. Wait, what? How'd you know? Oh my gosh, whatever. And welcome to our first exhibit. Oh, huh? there's nothing in here. Well, first open this chest to get all of your gifts. It's some pink armor and a diamond sword with sharpness one. Do you like it? Yeah, this is awesome, but why do I need this? Well, you're gonna need it in a second because guess what? Whoa. I'm gonna put you in survival because you have a big surprise, aka a bunch of creepers. Get her! Oh, no! Oh my, yo, and wait a minute. I did not think this through. The creeper's blowing up everything. Oh gosh, team up on him. Beat him, beat him, beat him. No, 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 don't let him get everything. And oh gosh, Lily has been killed. And oh my, yo, I think the creeper is about to explode everything. Oh no. Ah, uh, guys. Uh, Holmes, why do you do that? This did not go to plan. And um, Lily, I think all the cats just got blown up. Uh, no. Oh, gosh. Nothing bad was going to happen to the cats anyway. Oh, Roxy, this is really, really bad. This is not going to plan at all, right? Holmes, why do you put the cats right next to the creepers? Oh, gosh. And now Lily has to put her armor back on. Put it back on. You know what? We'll go into survival to help you out, okay? All right. Thank you. No problem. And here, take some enchanted banana apples. You too, Roxy, because we're going to the next area. And nope, I don't know if we can even do this. It's an Enderman. And in here, there's some new armor. Some enchanted golden armor with a lily, the sword. Sword with sharpness three. Whoa, this is awesome. And 
And guess what? The Endermen are coming in three, two, one. Wait, I'm putting on the armor. Oh, uh, never mind. Let's do it. Oh, my. Oh, they're here. And bye. Oh, my gosh. Wait, guys. Ah, uh, uh, this was a bad idea. Oh, my. Yo, Roxy, this is scary. Help me. Uh. I can't see anything. Neither can I. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Get rid of the normal ones first. Die, die, die. Get out of here. Leave us alone. And wait, did we do it? Was it that easy? Um, oh, it's not over. The meal one's still alive. Oh, no. Get him. Get him. You are so rude. And oh, my. Oh, he just clapped. Oh, gosh. And wait, he just teleported away. Ah, you can get us. Nah, 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 nah. What is he going to do? Wait, Lily, Lily. Oh, my gosh. Lily went out. We have to go save her. Oh, my. Yo, leave my friends alone, you bully. Uh. He is so powerful. I know, right? And oh gosh, what is happening, guys? Run away! He's yelling! Oh my, yo, this is scary. Oh gosh, oh gosh, go get him, get him, get him. While he's weak, we can do this, guys. Uh. Let's do it! Okay, final push, come on. And wait, why? He keeps teleporting. Stop being a baby. And what the heck? He just summoned some clones. Oh my, yo, leave me alone! Ow, ow, ow! Oh gosh, I can't see anything. He's pushing me in the water. Uh. He is so powerful. I know, right? What do we do? We need to do something big right now. I'm coming for the kill. Where is he? Hey, uh, Mr. Enderman, you are dead. Leave us alone and wait. Guys, run! He's doing something. Oh, my. Yo, oh, he's doing a special move. Oh, I think. Yes, we did. We got him. He's dead. We just need to survive. And come on. We lived. And oh, my. Oh, he dropped his eyes of Ender. Good job, guys. We did it. Yes, that guy was so powerful. Powerful, but we did it together. Oh, yeah, Lily. Great job, Roxy. Great job. Now we can move on. Are you excited to see what's next, Lily? Yeah, I'm super excited. And don't worry. It's not dangerous. It's something you're going to love. It's a dog area. Oh, but I do not like dogs at all. Wait, what? You don't like dogs? Dogs are awesome. Check it out. We have our own food thingy, majingy. It, like, launches out food. Isn't this super cool? Oh, this food is nasty. Oh, yeah. I forgot you're a cat and you eat, like, fish gross but check this out we have a golden toilet where if we poop inside just like that uh you might want to get out for this get out of the toilet lily you don't want to see what's about to happen then we hit this button it turns into lava and oh my god roxy what are you doing uh, oh gosh i'm on fire oh my god super silly but yeah we have a working toilet and that's super awesome and oh my god roxy relax now let's go out over here and um this was supposed to be a cat area oh my god they all died yeah, we were gonna kill them anyways to prank you, but they're just dead. So, yeah, that's it. You were gonna walk. Oh, uh, nothing, nothing. Let's just run up out of here and then jump into the water. And boom, we made it out, guys. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, that was great. But the question is, would you rather build a zoo or build a bank? Bank, of course. Oh, my. Yo, what about you, Roxy? Let's take a vote. If two people vote for one of the things, we're gonna pick that. So, what do you say, Roxy? You pick first. Well, I pick zoo, of course. So that's one for zoo and one for bank. So it's all up to you. Who do you decide? Come on, Roxy. You help me build it. Come on. It's so hard to decide. Oh, my. Oh, come on. I'll go on a day with you if you pick bank. Wait, what? That is cheating. No, 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 Roxy. Do not say bank. Bank. Oh, my. Oh, no. And that was an awesome adventure. And if you want to join us on our next click right here. Bye. Bye.